Today's story is Stanley's Veggie Patch. Maya frowns. She's feeling down. Her eyebrows knit together. She's feeling under the weather. This weekend, she's going away. She's going away to laugh and play, but she's not feeling so jolly. She's feeling rather worried. She thinks about her special beans and the tall and leafy greens. What is she going to do? She doesn't have a clue. Who will water her veggie patch? Who will water her veggie patch? Stanley pats her on the arm. Don't worry, Maya. Just be calm. I'll take care of your veggie patch. Pick me. Pick me. I'm the perfect match. Are you sure? Maya asks. There are many different tasks. Stanley nods and says he's sure. Maya leaves and closes the door. Stanley looks around the yard, thinking very, very hard. He climbs onto the worm farm. It shouldn't do any harm. Yoo-hoo! He calls out to the worms. Wesley the worm squirms and squirms. He raises his head and says, Hello? Are you hungry? Stanley bellows. Wesley already has plenty of greens, some fruit peels and leftover beans. Maya fed us yesterday. She cares for us in every way. Maya gives us lots of food scraps, like apple cores and mushroom caps. She says it helps to reduce her waste, but I just care about the taste. Wesley eats a banana peel. It is a very yummy meal. She took some worms to the veggie patch. More of us. Another batch. She says we make the richest soil. It's so good, it's almost royal. Stanley waves and wanders away. He has a lot to do today. His next stop is the rainwater tank. He crawls over a wooden plank. When it rains, the tank fills up with lots of water, many cups. When Maya waters the plants with rain, less water goes down the drain. She doesn't want to waste a thing. She cherishes what nature brings. When Stanley arrives, he looks around for a watering can sitting on the ground. He spots one, but it's very tall. It's sitting right next to a wall. He grabs onto the watering can, but things don't go according to plan. The watering can's too heavy to lift, even when he's being swift. So now what will he do? He doesn't have a clue. Then he remembers Maya's gift, a little toy that he can lift. He finds the mini water jug, a toy that even he can lug. He drags it to the veggie garden before the beans dry and harden. Water sprinkles everywhere. The droplets dance through the air. I did it, Stanley cheers and sings. I'm taking care of everything. Hey, Stanley, interrupts Winnie the worm. She wriggles and wriggles, squirms and squirms. Don't forget to measure the plants. That's what Maya always chants. Stanley stops to scratch his head. That's what Maya always said. How tall are the plants today? Have they grown yet? Have they? Close by, he spots a paddle pop stick. He smiles. Yes, that should do the trick. Holding onto the paddle pop stick, he climbs up the beanstalk very quick. One stick, two sticks, three sticks, four. This plant's growing very tall. Next, he measures the spinach plant, crawling up just like an ant. One stick, two sticks, three sticks, done. This task has been very fun. Stanley notes down all the changes in Maya's book, which she arranges. 
The beans grew one extra paddle pop stick. The stalk is very strong and thick. The spinach plant is half a stick taller and it won't be getting any smaller. There's little left for him to do, just a couple of things, only two. He carefully checks Maya's rain gauge, then writes a number on a page. The rain gauge shows how much it rained, how much water the soil has gained. Then he grabs a special tool, a soil thermometer that's really cool. He sticks it in the soil to see how cold or warm the ground might be. Maya's plants need to be warm so they can grow and reach peak form. He writes a number on a page, like he did with the rain gauge. Now his job is done. It was lots and lots of fun. In today's lesson, we learned that it's fun to care for plants and watch them grow. We can measure a plant's growth using different tools, like a ruler or even paddle pop sticks. Have a go at growing your own vegetables. You can watch your seeds grow over time. Get ready for all the changes! We hope you enjoyed this Schooling Online production. Check out the other stories in our Stage 1 Science for Kids series to improve your child's understanding of the living world.